taller compared to others of their of their gender. You know that we can't really compare the heights of men versus women because in general, men are taller than women. But using standardized values, we are going to be able to compare those two things. Um, here's another one. Was your SAT score or your ACT score better? Okay, y'all know that the SAT is on a scale of 800. The SAT is on a scale of 36. So how can we compare which one's better when they're not even on the same scale? This is going to allow us to do that. Um, so we've got another table here. We are talking about heights of, young, of American young adults. We've got men and women. They're approximately normal. That is always the key. They have to be approximately normal to be able to do this stuff. Um, they we're given the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, we're given the mean and the standard deviation for each. Now, I think we're pretty good with sketching the distributions at this point. So we're not going to take the time to do part A because I really want to quickly talk about the other pieces. Um, if Alexis, we're going to assume that's a female, is three standard deviations above average in height, how tall is she? There's another keyword there. Um, if she's three standard deviations above average in height, then obviously I think you know how to compute this. The mean plus three times the standard deviation so, how tall is she? Hmm. Who's got it? 68.5? No, oh, wait. No. What is it? 73? Okay, thank you. She is 73 inches tall. Uh, now, I don't know about you, but I'm not used to measuring height in inches. So, just for the sake of uh, argument here, six. <laughs> Six foot, and how about uh, one inch? Because yeah. no. six feet would be 72 inches. Six times 12 is 72. So we're one inch above that. She's six foot one. Okay, pretty tall uh, for a woman, but three standard deviations, that's kind of extreme, right? Because three standard deviations, you're talking about. She's in the 99th percentile. She is taller than 99% of women. Um, kind of makes sense. Marvin is 2.1 standard deviations below average in height. So let's look at the men's. And we're going to subtract 2.1 times the standard deviation 2.7. What is it? 60 what? 62.83. Inches. Yes, you always multiply. Mm -hmm. You always multiply. Um, so what is that? That's like uh, five foot two inches, right? Because five times twelve is sixty. So five foot two inches. Pretty short. Pretty short for a fella. Um, all right, Miguel is seventy four inches tall. How many standard deviations above average is he? Well, guess what? It's not an exact uh, number of standard deviations. We're going to have to do kind of what we did with the marathon numbers. Uh, he is seventy four minus the average is sixty eight point five. Divide by the number of standard deviations. So 74 minus 68.5 divided by 2.7. It's not an exact number, but it's pretty close to 2. Uh, about 2.03, so almost exact. Yes, that's why I use the little squiggly equal sign. That's approximately. Um, and that is above. He is taller. When it's positive, it means you're above the mean. Okay, Jackie is 62 inches tall. How many standard deviations below average is she? Again, take her number, subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation, make sure that you use the correct data. She is 1.4. Um, below. Okay, so 
Uh, last question here, and I will let you guys go. They tell us Marina is 68 inches tall. Steve is 71 inches tall. Who is relatively taller for his or her gender? Okay, they are both above average for their gender. Obviously, Steve is taller, but when we compare them to other males and females, who is taller compared to them? Y'all crunch the numbers and tell me which one it is. I will do it up here at the same time. Okay, the key is comparing the number of standard deviations. Okay, so who's taller compared to men or women, Marina or Steve? Ooh. Unless I did something wrong, I got Marina. Marina is one standard deviation above average compared to women. Steve is not quite one standard deviation, so Marina is taller compared to women.